coach on the road, taking you behind the scenes with the MLB stars of the game. And I got the man here, the GM for the Chicago White Sox, CG, Chris Gass. How we doing? I'm doing great. How you doing, Coach? All right. It's been a long time. You've been on Coach Show. You've been boycotting me? <laughs> yeah, I've been dodging you a little bit, but okay. it's good to be back. Okay. You okay. know, first time you invited me in a while. Okay. Well, you know, we go way back. I was That's there right. when you broke in your rookie year. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, what is this baseball world like these days for you? You know what? I, I, I love the, the opportunity I've been given here as the general manager of the White Sox. Um, you know, it's not something that I, I certainly uh, take for granted, but to be able to, to continue to, to grow this organization, uh, build it back to, to a place where everyone could be proud of, um, you know, is exciting for, for myself. And I've been able to, you know, surround my, myself with some great people from both inside and outside the organization. Um, and, you know, ultimately we want to be a championship level club, which takes a lot of attention to detail. Um, you know, focus day in and day out, and you know we're determined to to, to do a quality of work to, to take us to a level where our fans can be really proud of us. Now, of course, you started off going through the system, from high school to minor league to the big leagues. So, how do you make that transition from being a major league ball player to being in the management role? Well, I, I've been asked often, you know, is this something that I wanted to do while I was playing, and you know, simply put, I, I, I was always curious what was going on behind the scenes um, while I was playing, but I, I, I didn't have, I wasn't good enough to let my mind wander from, from you know, what I had to do as a player day in and day out. Um, but when I, when I was finished playing um, in 2014, I took a couple months off, um, you know, and, and I should say, I, I just went home for the summer, enjoyed the summer for the first time I'm what I felt like uh, probably until I was eight years old. Um, and then, you know, a couple teams reached out and had some interest in, in bringing me in and, you know, a wide range of capacities, whether it be on the scouting front, front office, coaching. Um, you know, and I, I, I took a position with the Royals in the front office, a very low level, entry level role that exposed me to all the different uh, areas that make up the organization. Um, and, you know, I, I, I jumped in with my eyes wide open. Um, and, you know, certainly dove in looking to learn. Um, and I was fortunate to be part of a, an organization that won a World Series my first year in the front office. Um, and, you know, I, I look back at that experience, not only because I was a player in that organization, but, uh, you know, then to, to, to get a glimpse from the front office perspective as well. And, you know, I, I, I take that journey into to where I am today and, and, you know, apply a lot of the, the, the different uh, pieces to, to, to make an organization, organization successful. But um, I take my playing experiences, my front office experiences, and, and try to grow on a daily basis to, to try to improve and get the White Sox where they need to go. And, you know, I know from being a scout, guys think you get drafted in the big leagues next day. And they don't realize the dues you got to pay. And I guess you coming from the player end now into management end, you realize this game is more of a business than you ever thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I, I didn't know what I know now when I was playing. Um, but I, I, I also try to remember that as well, where, where you know, you got to let, let, let athletes, these really talented um, players go out there and learn from their mistakes, um, learn how to manage both failures and success. Um, and it's going to take time. You've got to have patience. And you know, whether it be coaches or scouts or anyone that's surrounding the organization, um, you need to, to be there and be supportive and stay positive and give them direct information to help them grow. Um, and you know, and, and but 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 you're right. I mean, the, the inner workings of an office and, and the development of, or I should say, even further back from the evaluation to the development to the major league graduation is, is quite the process and ultimately so much of it is driven by the player and the makeup of that player. Do they have the drive? Do they, do they, do they have the resiliency that it takes because it's so competitive? But I love what I do and, and we look for players that are, you know, are passionate uh, and want to do well and continue to, to, to push others too. And I know being in this game 40 plus years, it gets in your blood. So I mean, you still got that urge sometimes put on the uniform see if you still got it. <laughs> You know, I know I don't have it. I barely had it before, but uh, I enjoy being around the game. Uh, I do miss, you know, the one thing I do miss is taking ground balls, uh, you know, but whether it be during batting practice, before batting practice and spring training, there was something about that interaction with, 
uh, you know, with the coach and other players and getting that, that workout uh, that workout in. I, I feel like there isn't uh, much out there that matches that. All right, so last question. Now, you mentioned your first year in the front office with the Royals that won the Royals Series, you got a ring. Now, as you know, I scouted for five major league teams. My first paying scouting job was with the Royals. I didn't get a ring. Can, can, can you, you know, make some phone calls or something? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'll, 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 uh, I'll consider selling you mine if, that, if that's the one you want. So, Coach like freebies. <laughs> <laughs> coach with the GM, Chris Gass. All right, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sounds like an exciting time. Again, it's uh, it's needed. Definitely need uh, some more developmental leagues to give uh, ball players an opportunity uh, just to progress and see where they're at. There's, a, there's those diamonds in the rough. There's those players that are hidden gems. Uh, they haven't been discovered yet. That uh, sounds like that's what the league is for, just to give them another opportunity, uh, some more exposure, some more experience, you know, advance and see how far they can go. Click on the subscribe button and become a subscriber.